Another way to make sure that you're delivering the right message to the right person is to prevent typos. And if you don't prevent typos from entering your database, you're essentially starting off your email relationship at a dead end. So we talked about walking through people through their customer journey. And if you're relying on email to do that, someone puts in a typo either at the point of sale in your store, on your website, in your call center, you're, you're unable to progress that journey any farther. And um, as you can see from the graphic here, there's a lot of room for error when it comes to email collection. Um, we've seen a whole wide range of clients have different percentages in these areas, but um, you know there's significant room for failure. There's a lot of room for human error here. And one thing that, that you really wanna do is you wanna make sure that you, that you screen everything. And a real simple way is to prevent typos from entering your system, to prevent you from wasting those creative dollars, those, those dollars on deployment, is to button up your keystroking process, right? So there's a number of ways that you can do this to, uh, to kind of dull down or, or fix some of those, those big percentages we saw on the past slide. Uh, if you're having your phone reps collect email addresses, customer service reps, you can train them to verbally confirm the email address that the person on the phone is giving them. Uh, you can move away from Joe's VIP list, the paper list here, to, to an electronic version that's easier to use, easier to read. If you're talking web forms, you can optimize them, again, to make those easy to read. We did some research a couple years back on the average length of an email address. It's longer than you think, and you want to make sure that you build the form that can accommodate, accommodate those 15, 20 character, 25, 30 character email addresses. And these are some things you can do on the front end to make sure that you're not getting junk into your database on the back end. And again, like I said, it's not just the fact that Joe the trucker signed up for your email address, yeah, your email list, you're not able to deliver him his, his promotion for, for cables and other things that are gonna make his life easier. It's possible that that typo is also a spam trap address. So not only are you not reaching your contact, then you're entering in the realm of all kinds of other probably worse problems with your ESP and your sending infrastructure. One other tip is to use a vendor, to use some services out there. Uh, if you're collecting a high volume of email addresses at any one of those three collection points, there are vendors like Fresh Address that can help you. Uh, we have a real-time API that can be used in store, on your website, um, to reduce and kind of uh, detect and correct typos at the point of entry. So this is an example from Hyundai. They've got the little Powered by Fresh Address logo in the corner of their form. And essentially someone signs up, the system doesn't like it, it looks like a typo. They give them a suggested correction and then nothing but a clean deliverable email address that corresponds to that target enters into their database. So it gives the user the opportunity to, to make a correction and it ensures that, that the uh, that the auto manufacturer is now able to send an email to this person who filled out a form and wants more information. 